There's a guy at middleweight by the name of Edmund Shabazian, and people, he needs to be on people's radar, because he's a problem in that division. Seriously, he's dusting guys that only world champions dust off. You know what I'm saying? Brad Tavares, other than, like, Israel Adesanya, I mean, Whitaker's the only guy to do him like that, and Edmund Shabazian just did exactly the same thing. I like Edmund Shabazian. I feel like he's going to go far in the division. He's a young guy, but he doesn't have the weaknesses that youth would normally bring. Not being too comfortable in the cage. Not being experienced enough. Getting over emotional. All these mistakes that you would expect a young guy to make. He doesn't make them. He's very patient. He comes out there with a confidence like he knows exactly what he's going to do. And I like the style. Head kick finishes Brad Tavares in the first round. Who fucking does that? Brad Tavares beats a bunch of guys in the, in the, in the division. No one does that to Brad Tavares. And Edmund Shabazzian just said, hey, hold my foot. Right into Brad Tavares' face. Does it immediately. I mean, this guy on the 244 prelims is bigger than ever. I mean, that if you're on UFC 244, you're bound to get a rub. I'm talking Rosenstreich, Shabazian, Shane Burgos, and Corey Anderson. They've all got big things coming their way. Everyone on the 244 card has some kind of massive increase in popularity. And Edmund Shabazian's one of those guys, and I'm glad because we need young contenders at middleweight. And we need them to break through the rankings. And there's two directions you can go with Edmund Shabazian. There really is. You could either say Shabazian versus Kanan and you could do what you do to every other young competitor, okay? They always chuck people to the walls. With Darren Till, he beats Cerrone. That's kind of like the Tavares win for Shabazian. I'm seeing similarities in the career. And then after that, they went Darren Till versus Wonderboy, the top contender. Jared Cannon is, in the way that middleweight division set up, one of the top contenders. He's, he's number one or two in that division right now. And that's a fact. He just beat Hermanson. Hermanson beat Jacare. It's good shit. You know what I'm saying? He's a real good position. They could either do Shabazian versus Kananir because it doesn't seem like Kananir's being talked about in terms of this title conversation right now. So I feel like his road is going to be a little bit longer than everyone else's. But if we want to keep him active, I'm down. Shabazian versus Kananir is a great fight. That could be the co-main event of any fight night I know. Makes sense to me. Or you could realize that he's 21 years old. And make the most of him being active, fighting maybe not quite the top level guys right yet. Jotko is a guy who's coming off a win, I believe over Marc-Andre Barrio on the UFC 240 main card, if I'm remembering correctly, Holloway versus Edgar. Um, and I think that's a great fight for him. I personally feel that Shabazzian would dust him off, but it's a compelling fight. Jotko's on a bit of a streak right now. I believe he's on a two-fight win streak. Looking good, floating just outside the rankings at middleweight. Shabazian versus him would make sense. One thing you do not do, and I'm speaking to you, Dana White, Sean Shelby, and Mick Maynard. I'm speaking to you. You do not do Marvin Vittori versus Edmund Shabazian. We need young talent in the middleweight division. Please don't kill them off on each other. Please don't do that. I beg of you. I don't mind seeing that fight further down the line. But this is the Adesanya versus Costa situation. Remember they wanted to match up Adesanya and Costa before Costa even fought Uriah Hall. Imagine if they'd ruined that so far. Now we've got the build up to Adesanya versus Costa. So they could even go with two routes. Shabazian versus Kananir. And then the winner of that fight's Paulo Costa for the title shot. Or you could just do Shabazian versus Jotko. Or... You could give him a very winnable fight and a quite a high profile fight, even though this is a terrible fighter that I'm about to tell you guys. Derek Brunson. If Edmund Shabazian destroys Derek Brunson in the first round, he will immediately enter the conversation of elites of the division. Okay? Who are the guys that have knocked out Derek Brunson in the first round? Robert Whitaker, Israel Desanya, Jacare Souza, twice. Shabazian went into that mix. That's a great win to have. And it looks, like, it looks like Till's fighting Robert Whitaker. So those two, I feel like, are kind of out of this conversation of Shabazian. But I think this guy can be world champion. If I was to bet, right now, a young guy coming up that's probably going to be world champion at some point in his career, I would say this guy. I would most definitely say Edmund Shabazian. I think he's going to get a job done. I do worry about his coaching, but to be honest with you guys... As much as I love to shit on people as much as possible, and I would love to shit on Edmund Severian, or... Is that his name? Tar no, that's Game of Thrones. Whatever, whatever his surname is, Edmund. Head movement guy, okay? As much as I would love to shit on him, looks like he's done a good job with this one. You know what I'm saying? I think it's the Edmund mix-up. They both are called Edmund. It's a destiny thing for them. 
And I feel like we might see a, a real threat to the middleweight division because right now, one win in that division over the right guy enters you in a conversation because, I mean, Adesanya's got spoiled for choice right now in terms of top contenders. You've got Cannonier, you've got Darren Till, you've got Yo Romero coming off a loss, but not maybe not even really a loss, even though I thought Costa won. You've got Paulo Costa when he's back from injury. You've got a bunch of guys. But I feel like if we meet in the middle, I don't know what that noise was in my throat. If we meet in the middle here, we don't rush him, but we don't hold him back too much with the Jocko fight. I feel like Edmund Shabazian versus Derek Brunson or Uriah Hall is the best fight to make. And if you want to make the Jocko or Cannoneer fight, then I think that Derek Brunson, Uriah Hall too, would be the nice little fixer-upper in the middle. You know what I'm saying? Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Click that button there. See you later. I'm actually going now, so definitely subscribe. Please.